<laughs> Congratulations on Mayhem. Thank oh, you. I'm, it looks great. Um, <laughs> no. No, I don't. It looks. It looks. It looks like I would watch. Not. <laughs> I would probably spend a couple minutes with that. I'd watch the preview on iTunes maybe someday. Well, watching the trailer, I have to say it. It kind of like seems like, like a dream revenge movie. Like if you've ever had like a shitty job that you don't like, I feel like it. It. it I like think back at jobs like I didn't like. And I'm like. I kind of like. Let's just, let's just say that when I got the script, I was working said shitty corporate job. So, <laughs> I I read this and went, "Oh my god, this is for me. This is like I know I can tell the story." So it, it it felt very personal to me. Whereas, like, not to say that the other films weren't as, but to to really be able to comment on the corporate culture of the day right now. It, it was just something that I felt like so attuned to at that moment. It was so in sync with it that I had to, I had to kind of bring my my voice and my vision to it a little bit. And when you work with actors like Steven and Samara together, they're kind of like the medicine. They're like the sugar to make the medicine go down. Because otherwise, you would think that this is a very mean spirited movie. Yet you love them so much. When you see some of the stuff that they do in this movie, oh god, it's just, it's it's pretty brutal. But I think everyone has been in that shitty job before and has vicariously thought about like what it's like to punch your boss in the face. Why not? This movie is for all of you who've always wanted to punch your boss in the face. You can, but, but can't. I, I'm, I'm giving you the perfect cathartic antidote so that you don't have to do that. Don't go postal on anyone. Watch this movie. You'll feel so much better. Get your friends from work. Go out and have a couple beers. Trust me. I'm gonna have a beer right now. <laughs> oh, look at you! Really do have, really do have one. You're a man of your word. Because this is jo this is my job right now, and I'm fucking nervous as hell. So you're doing great, and you're at the you're at like the best theater in Los Angeles. I I've been such a fan of Beyond Fest for years. I've come here every year, so and it's one of those things that you always sit there and you go like, oh man, like how great would it be if one of my movies played there? And I've been close a couple times, but this movie is really special to me. It's, it's, it's weird to say that it's my most personal film, but it really is my most personal film. And I'm so proud of, of everybody who's worked so hard on it and to have it premiere in LA and the Egyptian. It's like, let's just say my mom, my mom is thrilled right now. Thrilled. Oh my God, Joey, let me tell you. <laughs> I looked up the Egyptian theater. Oh my God. There are so many famous people who go there, and then there's you. Are you from New York? <laughs> can you can you tell? Yeah, I mean, this is like this is my favorite theater to see movies in, and so I, it's such a beautiful yeah, screen and the sound is good. And for this type of movie, I need the Beyond Fest crowd. Yeah, like this is a this is a crazy crowd. So I'm thrilled to be here. I am excited to see it, um, even though I, di I didn't at first seem to. I promise you, I watched the trailer. I'm like, this just seems like a fun. <laughs> it, seems like, I it seems like a fun movie. And talking to Samara, like, I just want her to see her kick some ass. Just wait. Just fucking wait. She, between this, the babysitter, and three billboards. Babysitter. Right? This, this actress is going to fucking explode. So I can say that we got her on ground floor. But I, I remember seeing her in Ash vs. Evil Dead and was so blown away. And not only that, but I thought like, all right, if anyone is going to allow Sam Raimi to dump cockroaches into her underwear, that's the kind of actress I want to work with. It feels kind of done. You're in. So it it totally made sense. For living with him for three months in in Europe was a real. But it like to watch those two actors work together. There's an entire scene in the film that is completely improv because of them. Uh, I don't speak Serbian. We were just so blocking a scene out and we were started talking uh, about our favorite bands. And they started going off and saying good. their favorite bands, but uh, as their uh, characters. Uh, like so the, that night, I, like I ran home, wrote the like scene up, came back the next day and said, this is the scene we're doing. And it cost us a mint because of the music that they actually talked about, but totally. And I talked to your music supervisor, uh, so. <laughs> and, and that's why, that's why he's on this red carpet, because he and I stalked some of these artists for eight months all based on that conversation, and it was totally so worth it because you saw the chemistry between them, and it's so palpable that you can't not, like, 
you can't not fall in love with that. So much so that I put myself in the movie just to act with them. So, Ooh, I'm excited to see Spoiler that. alert. But anyway, like yeah, I'm I'm thrilled to have to work with them and to have this movie out because I think the world kind of needs it right now in a weird sort of way. I think they need to leave, let out a little steam. The world the world needs to let off a little steam. If mayhem can help that out, then I've done my job. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations. I'm Jennifer, by the way. Jennifer. Hi, I'm Joe. Very nice to so meet nice you. So nice to meet you. I'm so excited to see it. And I think it's going to be really Are you going to be here tonight? I'm going to try to sneak in, but if not... Okay. Okay. I'm like, Joe said I could come in. Just say, Joe said I could come in. <laughs>